In other news, the Afghan government says it's investigating reports that Mullah Omar, the leader of the Taliban, is dead. Omar hasn't been seen in public since 2001. The reclusive leader has been reported dead several times. Reports of his death emerging today as preparations were underway for the next round of peace talks between the Afghan government and the Taliban. Joining me now is our expert on jihadi movements, Wasim Nasser. Wasim, what is the Taliban saying about these reports? Actually, the Taliban said uh, denied this information. Uh, it was uh, uh, the person in charge of their foreign relations who denied this. Then they made the communique in Pashto saying that it wasn't it wasn't true. Uh, but what we should know also is the Taliban issued also a statement uh, by the Mullah Amar on the 17th of July for the for the Futra Eid after the, the Ramadan. And what is very particular about this is that in this communique uh, he was quite open towards Pakistan, towards Iran, but he also gave a kind of blessing for the ongoing negotiations, because we were on the 17th of July after the first round, which means that he was okay with it. So on one hand, this information of him being dead could be like a political, uh, a political uh, game made by the Afghans and underway to undermine the Taliban during the negotiations. But at the same time, since this communique was issued by the Taliban on the 17th of July, they cannot today say that he was killed. Knowing that if actually this communique of the 17th of July was false, it would be a real first time uh, regarding jihadi movements that uh, the death of a leader is hidden. Because usually in their, in their ideology, when a leader dies, it's a celebration for them. So it would be really a real exception today if finally uh, the Afghan government is saying the truth and the Taliban are hiding the truth. But at this point, we don't know yet. And as you said, he was said killed many times. We know that many jihadi leaders as uh, Bel Mukhtar or as, uh, even Baghdadi, the head of the Islamic State, were, given, were said dead. And actually, we found out that they were still alive. You've touched on this, but um, if you could tell us a little bit more about the timing, because if Mullah Omar did, was killed a couple of years ago, why would you announce his death now? This is a very good question. If he died three years ago, why would not have said it uh, three years ago for the Afghanis? Because today we have this, these ongoing negotiations and it would be a way to undermine the Taliban, knowing that today the Taliban are suffering from some kind of divisions. Because we shouldn't forget that the Islamic State is today present in Afghanistan with more than 5,000 fighters. And we should know also that many leaders, many uh, second, uh, many commanders of the Taliban demanded that the Mullah Amar goes public in order to talk about important issues like the Islamic State, like the, the caliphate declared by the Islamic State, and they threatened at the time to join the Islamic State if he doesn't go public. We don't know what happened since, but what we know today is there was fightings between the Taliban and between people who vowed allegiance to the Islamic State in Afghanistan, and if finally his death is confirmed, it would be a blow for the Taliban, of course, and a blow also for Al-Qaeda, because Al-Qaeda claims that the real commander is Mullah Omar and not Baghdadi. So many things are uh, are on the table now, the negotiations regarding Afghanistan, but also for the jihadi sphere as a whole. Okay, thank you very much indeed, Wasim.